Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to, uh, d -d 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 yeah, welcome back to Black Sea Odyssey. I just want to figure out who I want to fight here. Uh, so we could go for Bigger Nom Nom. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, if you're just on the edge, it just freaks out a little bit. That's strange. Okay, well, we're, I don't know, we're gonna fight Nom Nom one way or another. I guess let's fight this one. Enemy size, more score, and no reduced uh, number of items. Because we need items. Uh, we're currently running with the uh, the Spitfire Spear, whatever it's called. And I love it. Uh, right, this is why I turned off sound effects. Okay, let's see if I can turn that off. I knew- I was wondering- I was looking at my footage a while back about, like, why- why I had the, uh, why I didn't have sound effects in this game. I remember now. I'm actually surprised that those settings lasted, because I think I turned that off for the, uh, the demo that I was playing. But, I mean, whatever. Why not? Let's see if I can hit him right in the gobber. There we go. Don't know if he's gonna attack me, but I can always rip his head off or get stuck in there. Okay, let's stay away from- let's stay away from frogs for a little while. Ah, I went straight into that one. Whatever. Uh, I generally takes me a day or two, but oh, f come on. To get back into the swing of things. And I'm not, like, fully here yet. I'm not fully here for playing this game. And it's messing with my head. And where the hell did he come? Oh, we're, like, smack dab in the center of, like, three different enemy groups. I... Now nah, I can do this. Probably. I don't know. I'm just, I'm like rusty and I don't. <laughs> I don't like the frogs that just come out of nowhere and it's like, surprise! Here I am. This game really needs like a, a better zoom out or something. Uh, just because, like, oh, harpoon. Gotta rip his face off. Which really doesn't make much of a difference. The, the music needs a little bit of a fade here. Pfft. Charge up the... Yep. Charge up the, the shot. And... I'm just outside of his radius, but he's now dead. Cool. Okay, so we took 17 damage there. Oh, we do have a key. Didn't notice that. Uh, I don't know why I'm charging this up here, admittedly. But, uh, still. I don't know. Yeah, Rusty. Uh, first recording of the day is always the hardest. Hey, chest. And we did get, in fact, a damage upgrade. If I'm not mistaken. Only five extra damage, but I mean, that's, that's, actually, that doubles my damage. Rip it! What? Wow! Right off the bat. I don't know, do they adjust the ripping damage? I really want to take the rest of his tail off for the sake of science, mainly. I actually just killed him. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. Alright, uh, let's stay away from these guys for, for a little bit, but yeah. I now do substantially more damage. Okay. Don't want to be subjected to some chomp chasing here. If I can avoid it. This is a this is a good start. Okay, what I want to do. Carpoon him. Ah, uh, he he died. What? No, he didn't die. Okay, enemies shouldn't be able to attack you from the dark zone. I, I thought I got his main section, so I said rip it. And then, out of nowhere, there comes the poison. So let's see if I can... See if I can kind of drag him back with me. Sort of. Not really, but whatever. Didn't take too much damage from that, but just a little bit salty. Uh, at the very least, maybe enemy uh, shots shouldn't appear from the dark zone. Like, I know it's the, I know it's the limit of the map and you shouldn't be going out there, but it's a little stupid when enemies frequently fight from out there. This is so far so good on the loot standpoint, though. We got 74... We got 74 credits. Okay, so we've got a mini... mini nom nom. wonder if I can rip his eyes out. I actually... no. Okay, so his eyes are not a target... targetable... section. Damn. I really wanted to get his, uh... I really wanted to... I am... Taking non-stop damage here. I really wanted to uh, to grab his tail and stuff, but 
This is a no dice. Okay, that didn't work. I also did not realize that Chompzilla's had, uh... Had the tongue, just like Nom Nom. I thought that was actually a unique thing. Because I don't think I've actually seen them use the move before. Well, we're in trouble, but we're okay. Like, I'm at 50% HP, which... You know, really, a lot of that has to do with me not doing things well at all. But whatever. Rip it. Okay, he did. We get another key. Cool. Yeah, so if I can if I can get over the fact that I'm hella rusty right now and somehow get the ability to heal, we're in a really good spot. If I can't heal, fuck. Well, whatever. And we're up against Nom Nom, which I'm less than enthused about. Well, I don't know. He's okay. It would have been it would have been worse if I was up against the Great Guza. Great Guza is not my friend. Okay. Unfortunately, his fins are harpoonable already, so they almost defend him. It's weird. Luckily, his face is not. Not so defensible. Okay, hey, there's a repair. I have no idea how much that's gonna repair, but still. That's gonna make a difference, and we've got a key. Wow. Okay, that was kind of weird, but we got it. Okay, so we've got two attack speed buffs. Honestly, I'm gonna just save them. Oh, come on. There we are. Just waiting for him. Okay, so we're at 73. Oh. Come on. I was really hoping that I'd be able to uh, get him with the tail, but as usual, most enemies just turn so fast it's not even worth it's not even worth trying to get behind them unless they're the kind of enemy that do does not pay any attention to you. Oh, come on. Taking a lot of damage just because the environment does not want to does not want to co cooperate here. Yeah, I really wanna... I really wanna... Take out his eyeballs, because it does a stupid amount of damage to him. Okay, developers actually said they were, uh... They really liked the idea of... Uh, making it so he freaks out when he doesn't have eyeballs anymore. I, I think that would be awesome. As just a, like, oh... You know, suddenly the boss... Fuck. Suddenly the boss is just not having a good day anymore. Okay, rip it! Okay, he has no more tail. He can still swim. How? How can he still swim? I have... I have eviscerated... This guy doesn't have eyes. He doesn't have... A tail. Yet, he is perfectly functional. As far as I'm concerned, the boss should be... Just dead in the water. Just being like... Fuuuuh. But no. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Like, no! Fucking rocks! Ah, all of my good shit! It, I mean, it's my fault for boosting away in the beginning, but the rock is just like, Nope, you're not collecting any of this. At least we got all the runes. Which were substantial. But that's still really annoying. So we got a damage upgrade, a 180 shot, and another attack speed, as well as two speed runes, which... Don't actually know how much of a difference they make there. Okay, now let's cheese the shop a little bit, because these are pretty bad. And despite the fact that I lost cash, we still made made it out of that run like bandits. Okay. But yeah, I, I really wish the magnet range for that final thing was better, because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that you run out that fast. Okay, poison. Poison's good. Ice trail's kind of okay. Ice one, very good. So what can I sell these for? 23, 12, 42... Okay, let's start selling things. Can I get them both? No. Alright, let's cheese it a little bit more. I'm... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just slightly simmering as a result of that rock just coming through to already make it harder for me to get, get stuff. Alright, so we've got Ice Trail Rune, Ice Trail, nah. None of these are good. 
I don't know. I love this game, but every once in a while there's just something that just makes me just... Ooh, like, why? And I really, I really think you should get the reward from the boss, regardless. Or like, there's no countdown or something. Like, it's weird that there is one, honestly. So we could just get... Uh, yeah, here we go. This is what we want. So we can get Blood Spear 1, and if I sell both of these, we can get Ice 1 too. Okay, that's perfect. We don't have to sell any of our speed stuff. So let's see, Bounty Board. Uh, so we can do Elite Belch Brothers, yes. Uh, Legendary Rune Drops. The key drop reduction kind of sucks, though. Enemy speed size. Or we could just do this one. Let's just do regular Belch Brothers. Uh, their key drop reduction. It only seems like it's about 10%, but that, for whatever reason, can actually make a substantial difference here. Okay, so I don't have any keys, I have barely any credits, but I have the ability to heal myself. I'll keep the repair probe. There's one. Okay. I... Mildly annoyed. Okay, I'm noticing these guys are starting to destroy the environment a lot more than they used to, which is appreciated. Okay, it's a little frog time. Their timing is not appreciated, but my damage is enough to kind of make up for it. Okay, let's make sure they can't do anything. But yeah, I, I don't know if this got patched necessarily, uh, but I'm noticing the, the little squidlets are completely ruined now. Uh, as they fly through it, which is super nice. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm hoping... I, like, I love the fact that the environment is dest destructible, but... It was definitely getting a little bit frustrating from time to time when enemies would just, like, ram through the environment. Yeah, like that. And not be able to do anything about it. Okay, let's let's use our heal. You ain't getting away from me. This is a no escape zone. Okay, and yeah, nice thing is we're going to be fighting Belch Brothers after this. So, uh, Belch Brothers more or less mean automatic HP. Uh, well, we might as well just kill him. Grab a hold of you. Rip it. Okay, there we go. Not the greatest, but we'll make it work. Did not get a whole lot of credits there either. We've got two chests on the radar, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we know how to find him, and I've got a Healy thing. If we need to use it. I'm going to try and avoid, though. Hi. Uh... Well, that was... That was fast. Did they, re like, drastically increase the amount of damage that... Ripping does? Because that was a lot of damage. Okay. I wonder... I, I've... I have ripped off frog legs before. Cool. It's just a fairly rare occasion, so I don't- it doesn't happen very often. Okay, so no keys from that zoom out, which I had apparently forgotten to do. I wonder if I could, uh, hack the config files to make it zoom out even further. That would be nice. Like, I'm totally okay with being, like, this tiny guy if I can actually see what's going on. We have three key- we have three chests now, and nary a single key. Oh well. I get the feeling the rewards on this uh, this map aren't going to be as as good as the previous one. That's okay though. Having a really easy start can really help a run or a really solid start. Despite despite the fact that what the despite the fact that we took like a ton of damage, uh, and I don't think we did much better this time around. Yeah, wow, the rewards for this specific round are terrible. I don't know. Um, despite, despite the fact that we took so much damage, we're getting back up there. And hopefully, if I'm careful for the next round, we actually won't have to, uh... We actually won't have to deal with anything. Uh, like, most of the enemies will just fold. And we might actually be able to get that thing that, you know... Uh, defeat a bounty without taking a single point of damage. Which I think has to be the entire mission. But I could be wrong. Okay. Oh! Wow! I don't know if they increased the range on Belch Brothers. I know they they adjusted it so he um, he would attack more often. 
but I am not totally used to that yet. Okay, uh, it looks like he's got another frog coming in. They're much more, they're much more aggressive than the other variety, I've noticed. Oh, that's okay, we've got a slowing, yeah, the problem is I have to keep such a high rate, like, distance from this that trying to, uh, trying to fight him is kind of inconvenient. I mean, seeing the boss as you fight him is inconvenient. Uh, wow, we got very little from this run. In fact, we got pretty much nothing. Yeah, I should have gone with the, uh, the Elite. Maybe I would have gotten a better reward. At least we get a huge speed run bonus for that one, which more or less makes up, uh, the points. But that was... bad? That was bad. Okay, uh, so it's Crackhammer, Crackhammer, Great Gooza. I guess we're going with Crackhammer. Probably the elite one. Whether or not I think that's a reasonable idea, I don't know. Uh, still, Poison 2 is tempting. But having the money for it, uh, no go. We could go Knockback 1. Might be able to afford Speed 1, but no. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go big. Let's go hard. Let's fight... Elite Crackhammer. Hopefully he's not Berserker-based. If he's Berserker-based, we fold, and that's just the end of it. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting my sea legs back a little bit. People are complaining at me because I'm in space, not the ocean. I'm in the space ocean! Isn't it, like, between time and space? Like, isn't that the actual intro cutscene? So we're actually in- we're not in space, necessarily? Ooh. Looks like he's, uh, frost-based. Uh, Frost Crack Hammer. Frost, Frost Hammer. Interesting. Rip it. Okay, and dead. This one's given a hell of a lot better reward. Okay, so in the future, let's go for Elite Ones, just because the rewards seem to be better. I'm trying to avoid pissing off Crack Hammer here. It's probably just more Ice Piercers. I haven't zoomed out yet. Yeah. He is an Ice Paste. Crack hammer. Okay. Now, I've noticed some of you guys watching this series will, like, show up to my live streams or my other videos, uh, giving me advice for this game. Please don't do that. Uh, this is kind of, like, random, but when I was having the issues with the, the, the spear bug, god damn. Let's take out the little one. Uh, people would show up to my, my videos a lot and demand that I acknowledge that you're telling me how to fix my bug problem. It's not really cool. Uh, it gets really frustrating when people show up to, uh, when people show up to my streams or like another video entirely and uh, demand that I pay attention to them. And it's not just in relation to the bugs for this game. Uh, I mean, this happens anytime. I get really annoyed when people are like, notice me, senpai. Like, I know it's kind of like a weird cultural thing from like a, a stream perspective. And it's really cool to get acknowledged by the streamer or the YouTuber just because, you know, uh, you listen to us so so much, and the idea of like getting them shout, uh, getting them to like shout you out in a video or elsewhere is cool. But like, it's not. It's really not. Like, how how much would you like it if I started shouting everybody out that asked? Uh, it would get really annoying really fast, and I'm sure people would say, "Oh yeah, I could tolerate it just so I could get noticed." No, you couldn't. It gets really annoying. I was on a stream once where the person was, uh. Oh, shoot, what was it? I think it was actually, like, a Northern Lion thing, but if, you know, you donated a certain amount, he'd say something. I'm like, I can kind of understand it just because, like, livelihood, but boy, was it annoying just hearing them every once in a while say things. Like, it, it could be really neat uh, as, like, a gimmick or, a, for, or like, a specific stream thing, maybe. Uh, but, like, 90% of the time, you're like, I really just don't want to hear this random stuff. Unless it's funny, and sure. But, um... But, like, I don't know. I, I I feel like, hello, that is a big sucker. And a very small puffer fish. These tiny little puffer fishes. Oh, wait, no, that's not that's not the big fish. That's something else. Where is he? Oh, he's, he's ice-based. Go figure. So it's another elite-type unit. There he is. Yeah, crystal frost buffer. Frost enchanted. Feels a little redundant when you put it that way, but, meh, whatever. Okay, but, yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, just, just keep in mind, if I haven't, like, responded to a comment or, you know, 
Especially if, like, you guys are watching a live stream and I don't respond immediately. It's- chances are it's because it's not a good time for me to respond to these things. Like, uh... I don't know, what's a, what's a good example? I, I seriously do not want to talk about, say, Black Sea Odyssey while I'm playing, um... Like, uh, Stardew Valley. It, it, it doesn't make sense. It's like if I were to start talking about, uh... My... Like, how my XCOM playthrough is going during this game. It's like, no wonder. Either talk about, like, something random and interesting, or... T you know, talk about the game. Don't, don't talk about something completely irrelevant. I don't know. I guess it's a bit of a, uh... I guess it's a bit of a mixed bag. Why did I go through that? Whatever, I've got so much HP, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I won't be getting the don't take damage on a run uh, thing anytime soon. But then again, I don't care that much. I'm not really going for it. Well, we got... We have a lot of these repair probes. Damn. Well, that'll be helpful for the last boss. I hope they add more last bosses to this, this game. Uh, I've noticed most of them... Well, it's always just le the Leviathan at the end, which is a bit of a shame. He's a lot bigger after death, I notice. Okay, so we've got one more enemy group. Uh, we have one more chest on the radar. And then it's Crackhammer time. I'm not super interested in fighting Crackhammer. I don't like him that much. But I'll do it for the sake of... Well, because I should. Because I have to. Same, with the, same thing with the Leviathan. There are, there are bosses that are more fun to fight than others. Crackhammer's annoying just because he he's not easy to hit. Oh, my allergies are starting to go haywire here. Okay, oh, there he is. I was wondering when he was going to start shooting at me. And the answer is, hi. What the? What? What the? What? 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 I was bouncing off of invisible walls. I thought I... Saw in the patch notes that they fixed that, but I, I guess not. Alright, uh, we still don't have any keys. Well, that's fine. Oh, crack hammer. Oh, you're big and frosty, and I'm not super keen on that. Because that means triggering you is either going to cause me to take damage or be kind of hard. Okay, yep. Frozen. That's a bit obnoxious. If the boss isn't even spawned in yet... I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't be taking cracktastic, uh, frost damage. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy's not a fun, fun sucker to fight. Does he destroy the environment as he comes through? Yeah, he does. Good. Okay. Luckily, he's not too hard. Okay. Should probably not be tied to him if he's going to be spinning and shooting stuff. Yeah, enemies that that have not spawned in properly yet should not, uh... How did he not destroy that entire section of the environment? I don't know. Whatever. I'm glad I got the speed upgrades here. Uh, there's a little bit of the environment left here. Yeah, this boss definitely ranks on my lower desire to fight thing. This one in the crystal fish. Anybody that's, like, really hard to hit or damage just does not rank highly on the Wanderbot wants to deal with this situation. Ow. Fuck. Ow. You get frozen, and then he comes in and smacks you, and then you get frozen again because you're within his, like, frost zone. Your fro- his fro zone. Okay, uh, let's use two of those. I apparently had already used one. Well, whatever. Yeah, this is not this is not a fight that I would have been able to get through uh, unassisted either. There's a slight temptation to try and like try and like rip off one of his fins or oh. I want to harpoon it. There we go, rip it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my distance. He's shooting stuff. Let's go for a full charge and hit him in the wing. one problem. I can't exactly uh, manually control where he's going here. Oh, staying away from that. Uh, I've got two speed upgrade runes and I just can't outpace him. Okay, his wing ripped. Okay, I really wish that would actually affect his his like gameplay. Like you think if you had, you'd think if you take off somebody's fins, they lose all mobility. Not crackhammer. Actually, nothing in this game really. 
jetzt. Okay, let's charge one up. Got it. There goes his other fin. Now all we have left is his tongue. Which is huge for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why. Harpoon. Okay, and dead. Perfect. Let's grab this. I want to get that shield just because it sells for money. See, that time I had enough time for it. I wanted to actually beeline back for that treasure chest, but... Nah. I know, it would be kind of nice if there was just an exit level button after one of these fights. No dice, though. Okay, so let's... Charybdis? No Charybdis. Damn. I really want to fight Charybdis today, because... Uh, well, we're not even in first. We might actually want to fight a second Crackhammer here. I don't know. That's an interesting question. Yeah, because the, the alternatives are boring and bad. All right, well, what else do we got here? Recharge three, tempting. Cheap and tempting. Otherwise, there's fireball. There's fire one. Fire one's not a bad thing to pick up, too. Uh, let's see if I can sell the mines and the force fields and the whatnot. Make some cash here. Okay, that's enough. Uh, because ice one's kind of nice. Blood sphere's kind of nice. Ah. In retrospect, I guess fire one would be kind of handy. Yeah, I'd probably rather have Fire 1 over Ice 1, just for the strike through damage. Well, let's get Recharge 3, and I'll buy Fire 1, and I can switch that out with Ice interchangeably. In fact, why don't we just do this? Slightly less on the physical, but, um, or slightly less on the damage, but the Fire will make up for it. Okay, cool. Well, either way, uh, I can almost just, like, rush it. I don't want to fight Crackhammer, man. Alright, whatever. Okay, well, let's see how we do. I've already spotted a treasure chest, so let's head that direction there. Watch us immediately get into combat or piss off the boss by accident. Uh, hi. Well, we've already we've already gotten into combat. I really wish the radar would actually initialize immediately. Kind of weird that it doesn't. Yeah, so the reason why I'm using... Oops. The reason why I'm using uh, explosive spears, even though people keep telling me not to, despite the fact that they fixed that bug. Uh, holy shit damage. Uh, they're really good. Uh, there's Crackhammer. Surprised it didn't- oh, we already- we already got the reward. Jesus Christ, this chest does not mess around. Hey, it's another boost recharge, too. Yeah, I'd love to fight Charybdis here. This would be the perfect, perfect build for it, too. I mean, we would ruin him. But, no dice. Okay. I'm just gonna- ow. Ah, it's a crack hammer run anyway. We're not we're not getting out of this one unscathed. My health is looking really good though, but today is not the day that we we get through without taking some hits. Not to mention I keep careening into things because speed and whatnot. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter that much. I just know I can ruin most things. Like this is going to be a really easy run, just not an invincible run. I am trapped. Let's take the alternate way around here. There we go. Yeah, it'd be really it'd be really nice if we can get a key for one of these suckers. I hate how fast enemies turn in this game. I don't know. I, I feel like enemies can turn instantaneously. Unlike me. Yeah. Maybe that's the reason why I get like really annoyed when enemies just like immediately pivot and hit me. It's because I can't do that. Then again, uh the more enemies' movement is limited, the more I can outmaneuver them and win. So I guess it's a bit of a handicap that my surfboard does not let me, like, just spin on a dime. They are fish, not on surfboards. You know, it would almost be kind of interesting as an encounter to come across, like, another one of the bounty hunters to fight. Or compete against in, like, an actual map. That'd probably be really hard to do, though. And honestly, I don't think I'd like it. It's like, by the way, you have competition! Oh... A lot of crystal spitters today. Wonder why. Well, I am not against just wailing on them at random. Yeah, crystal frost puffer is not a big threat, so I'm kind of ignoring him. Taking out the the actual ranged units here, probably the better plan. Okay. Oh, one's already dead. I'm probably gonna get hit by something as I go through here. No? Where's the other... Where are the other 
enemies. Did I kill them all? It's a very real possibility, honestly. Okay, well... There we go, we get another key. I do know where another chest is. Uh, so what, what we could do is go piss off Crackhammer and then... And then go chest searching. I don't... I'm gonna quickly check to see if I have... Despite the fact that I have two of these recharge things for 100% boost speed reduction. Does not matter that much. A boost recharge speed, 200%. Boost power, yeah. Speed. Yeah, I get the feeling, um, speed one and speed two actually don't do anything differently. Weird. Bit unfortunate. What did I just get? Another recharge. Okay. So, not super useful. We don't need- we don't need to save for any more keys. Let's kill this minnow. I'm not seeing any pings. Okay. Crack hammer it is. Wow, this one's a hell of a lot smaller than the last one. Like, this one, I, I actually can fight on the screen, because I can see what's going on. That's it's one th one thing I don't like about the whole uh, enemy size situation. Like, there are, there are some screens where it's just like a... I What the hell? Oh, if I hit him, like, right in the mouth, he just takes tons of fire damage. Oh. Rip off his... What? What even happened there? I'm trying to harpoon his lip, but it is not cooperating. Ow. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I keep missing his lip and hitting the rest of him, like I'm hitting through the lip or something. It's it, an it, interesting conundrum. Okay. Come on. Come on. Rip it. There we go. Rip it. Okay, there we go. Now we start hitting him for ripping it. Oh, shit. We've completely decimated, like, one section of him. This is why I like the fire runes, though. Look at all that... Look at all those numbers as they pop up. He is still gouting shit out of there, though. I feel like he should almost hit himself there. Rip it! I have no idea what I just ripped out, but that looked very mean. Of me to do. Okay, come on. Money. There we go. Got it. No keys. Plenty of runes, though. It's probably the easiest crack hammer fight I've ever done. We got a fair amount in speed run bonus. That was, that was a solid run. We might actually be done with this episode before even 20 minutes. Ooh. And we took the lead. Huh. That's weird. So we've got Megalark. Leviathan. 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 What? Never hit a Megalark at the end here. Alright, so... Ooh, Poison 3. Useful. What else can we get? Boost Power 3, Ice Trail Rune, Split Shot 4. Ooh, can I afford that? Maybe? Yes. Sell that one. Let's get Split Shot 4. Let's get rid of Blood Spear. It's not going to be that useful here. We've also got Poison 3. Which is pretty damn good. Let's get rid of Ice. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. So let's do Bounty Board. Now, we could just fight... We could just fight Megalark and laugh. But I don't know if that's a good idea. We could do... Elite Levi- fuck it, let's do Elite Leviathan. I've never- I don't even know what Elite Leviathan's gonna look like. And I'm fascinated to find out and terrified of the- of the, uh, possibilities. In the same go. Either way. It's kinda neat. Yeah, the split shot isn't going to be nearly as good as it used to be. But with the sheer amount of attack speed I have, very worthwhile. I, God damn it. I really wish the poison wasn't, uh, I really wish the, the poison wasn't, uh, like, the poison stacked or something like that. But then again, that would make this really, really powerful. Actually, you know what? I like poison, but let's go with the ice. 
Oh, that's... that's a Leviathan. It's a big sucker, too. Alright, yeah, the reason why I want ice, in retrospect, slows them down. I'll probably switch poison back in, maybe? I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to say on that one. Exactly how I want to do this. Either way, though, there's a key. Oh, I'm going straight through his frost trail. should actually probably put my um, blood spear back on. Increasing my chances of healing here. Probably a good plan. I didn't realize this guy would be frost enchanted. So I just ran straight through his path. Okay, come on. Okay, there's one. We don't have a very high level of blood spearing here. Oh, come on. No, oh, come on! What the... How did I... How... Fuck it. Yeah, I've got to actually rip a part of him off. Otherwise, we're not taking him down. Okay. Not the greatest. Close enough. Let's go back to just shooting. So I want to find a treasure chest here if I can. We've got increased amounts of key drops, which is kind of handy. But still, yeah, imagine if uh, Split Shot wasn't chance-based anymore. Uh, or was was still like the way it was. This would be a super broken run. Okay. So I'm a little bit leery of the Ice Piercer. I saw a treasure chest over here. A lot of money, which is not really what I'm looking for here. Okay. But yeah, if I'm lucky between all the split shots and whatnot, we'll be able to get uh, our health back before we fight the Leviathan. Hi. Bothers me a little bit that he can shoot at a weird angle. When he fires those out. Because he, he does not fire straight. No siree. Well, we're up to 84 HP. We get yet another key, which is going to... Uh, two more keys, which is not going to do me a whole lot of good here. But well, whatever. Okay, who's the next one? Pro probably another puffer fish. Hard to say. Nope, ice piercer. Nah, that's fine. Okay, got him. Not like it really makes much of a difference, but still, we're getting a ton of keys here, and we got uh, a rune of some variety. Okay. Well, luckily we're getting a couple of chests to work with. Did the other chest just not give me anything? Ooh, I got an ice trail rune now. Alright, whatever. Uh, what else we got? Uh, there, yeah, that's good. So yeah, now we've got, uh, even higher attack speed. That is a large crystal dragon. Luckily, I've got so much, so many slows that I'm effectively unassailable here. Not to mention the sheer amount of just spread shot damage I'm pumping out. We're at 98 hit points. Okay, you dead. Don't know if there are going to be any more chests along the way here. I'll probably still check. Just because. But this is working out very well. Okay, so we're at 100 HP. Just shy of, really. I'm just gonna keep searching for a second. Any, I mean, if I could get a legendary and an epic rune, I'd be really happy. I would like to see more of them. Like, honestly, I, I like this game. I would totally take like a difficulty, uh -oh. I would actually totally take a difficulty increase uh, in favor of like more cool shit along the way. Yeah, why am I slow? This happens occasionally, and I can never figure out why. Oh, I guess I needed a boost to get my speed back. But it's just sometimes my character gets stuck in, like, slow mode. For mysterious reasons that I truly do not know. Okay, yeah, not seeing any... Not seeing any chests left. Yeah, we're in slow mode again. Interesting, so it comes after a boost? Weird.
Yeah, so I have to boost once to, to fix it. Strange. Okay. So... Let's get rid of Blood Spear. Well, of Ice, Attack Speed. Do we want Split Shot? No. Let's go Fire 1 over Split Shot. I might switch him in and out. Um, the reason why Split Shot's kind of useless against the Leviathan is purely because the Leviathan uh, has so many blocking points that pinpoint accuracy is way more important than... Oh. Here's the question. Can I... Can I just start at the... Ooh, boy. This is a bad place to be. He's fucking huge. Bad place to be standing. I'm trying to take out his, um... Little head things. Here, come on. Okay. So, we're taking some extra damage here, which isn't great, and I shouldn't be doing this. But I'm probably gonna do it anyway. Rip it. Because I really want to try something different today. Rip it. Okay. You might as well heal up here. Rip it. Okay, cool. It does work. We're very injured for this, though. Which kind of sucks. But, initial theory proven correct. You can, in fact, uh, more or less hang out inside of him. Uh, if you want to. Rip it. Okay. So yeah, we still got that wing thing. Which is kind of a problem. Okay. Also, uh, let's see. New theory. Uh, let's put in damage over... Nope. Ice. Poison. There we go. Poison 3. Not actually nearly as good as... Yep. Boosting my damage here. Let's get away from that for a second. I'll repair if I need to. Ah, shit. Okay, there we go. Rip it. Okay. So we got that tail down. That hurts some, some, something serious. I don't know why I'm gonna shoot this thing, apart from doing damage to him. He is fire enchanted, interesting. Oh god, he is so fucking huge that I, ah. There's the fire enchanting. Okay, uh, so now we want to do is probably get rid of ice for split shot. Rip it. Okay. That did not work out great. Let's heal. He's so goddamn huge that trying to um, hit him pro or flee properly here is a nightmare. Gonna have to watch for. Oh. I'm harpooning. There we go. Rip it. Boop. Fuck. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay. There's nothing I can do about this. Yeah, he's so large, I truly can't see what he's doing. Luckily... Got him. Luckily, I can rip his eyeball out pretty fast. Because individual part damage is important. This game really needs, like, an infinite mode or something. Just because, look at all these rewards. Maybe there's a boss after this one. I guess there's supposed to be a white whale, but still. That was... Big. That was very big. But we still haven't unlocked the new character yet. Wow, that was a really short episode. Well, oh well. Uh, I mean, I'm making good time here. And my weapon is really, really good. Despite the fact that I took a fair amount of damage there. I'm gonna posit that a lot of that was just because of being rusty. And then because the enemy was huge. I don't even know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Black Sea Odyssey. And as always, thanks for watching.